Hello everyone. I'm Susanna St. Germain, Architect Evangelist here at Salesforce, and I'd like to welcome you to the Getting Started with Salesforce Diagrams video series. Today, I'm going to introduce you to the Salesforce Diagramming Framework, so let's get started. Now there are a ton of available models and languages and tools to build diagrams. And as Salesforce architects, we create a ton of them. But there hasn't been a standard for Salesforce diagrams until now. The Salesforce diagramming framework does three important things. It creates a shared visual language for Salesforce architecture. It establishes a way for Salesforce architects to create and reuse and customize diagrams. And it also helps drive greater coherency and efficiency in architectural conversations. But what exactly does this framework contain? Let's get into it. We know that diagrams are used for lots of different things. So we conducted research across the Salesforce ecosystem and with Salesforce experts through surveys and workshops. And we discovered that you're using diagrams for primarily two different types of conversations. So we created two styles to help better facilitate those conversations. The first style, marketing, sales, and strategy helps viewers understand the vision for a solution. A great example of this is a business capability map. The second type of diagram is documentation and implementation. And this style helps viewers understand the technical implementation for a solution. An example of this type of diagram is a system landscape. Great, so we have styles, but how can you be sure that you've built the right diagram for your audience? It can be all too easy to put a lot of information in a single diagram, make it cluttered, and have it overwhelm the viewer. That's where diagram levels come into play. In addition to styles, the Salesforce diagramming framework comes with four levels that help you communicate at the right level of detail for your audience, regardless of the style that you choose. The four levels in the Salesforce diagramming framework are the big picture, down to a piece of the whole, to a process or interaction view, and finally, the double click. In our example of a system landscape, that would be our level one diagram. A level two diagram might look like just the integrations involved in that system landscape. A level three would show the process of just one of those integrations, and a level four diagram would show the data model that underpins a part of the solution. At the end of the day, the ultimate goal of Salesforce diagrams is to drive greater efficiency and coherence in architectural conversations. In addition to the framework we just covered, Salesforce diagrams includes a set of tools that you can use to build consistent and predictable diagrams. So if you're interested in learning more, I hope that you'll join us for the rest of the Getting Started with Salesforce Diagrams video series. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you find this content helpful, and of course, ring that bell so that you'll get alerted anytime we post a new video. I hope to see you back here very soon. Bye now.